down and dirty. Tips and tricks for keeping your plane out of the shop. Starring Steve Dirty Hands. Today, the best foamy hinge anywhere. Okay, the hands are back. And today we have our wing from our Super Easy. And these here ailerons are way too stiff for my taste. They don't really move easily. So what I'm going to do is cut them off and put in HDPE hinges made of plain old thin HDPE plastic, which you can get from a milk bottle if you have some of those laying around. We have even slightly thinner stuff that we use. Here's how we do it. First, we slice off the aileron right at the edge, if I can. So I'm trying to make a single neat cut down one side so that I don't have to go back and do any trimming. And there it is. Okay, so we have to make cuts for our hinges now that we've got these tr off and trimmed. So we're going to put three hinges on here. One, two, three. So we'll mark our location on both and we just need a block of wood and something that's as thick as the distance of the hinge from the bottom, which in this case is about, looks like, 3 sixteenths. And we need a piece of something to go up to the middle of where the hinge used to be here, right? So let's try it. this piece of plywood. looks about right, and indeed it is. I'm going to glue my spacer and my blade onto my piece of wood, and I want the blade to stick out pretty much as far in as I want the hinge to go into the film, which in this case is like that much. Let me use a very thin blade, in this case an exacto knife blade. So, let's glue it together. Here we have our hot, hot glue gun and a pair of pliers since I don't want to burn the hell out of my fingers, right? So we just have to glue these three things together. We go one, two, put a blob there and glue this on here. Right, and then squish everything with the pliers to make sure that the knife blade is where I want it. And I'll just hold this for a second until it sets itself in the right place. So now all I have to do is determine where my hinges want to go and then make little slits with the, the knife blade for the hinges. By the way, your knife blade and your piece of wood can't be any wider than the space between the hinge and the end of the aileron, right? So the closest I can get to the end of the aileron with this knife blade is this far. So I'm going to sand my HDPE on both sides because I want the glue to stick. And I'm only using like three quarters of an inch of it, so that's all I have to sand. I just have to put a little bit of a tooth on it. Looking good. Now my piece is ready, and I just need to cut this up into hinges. I locate the location of my hinges, and I put a piece of tape on each side where I'm going to cut a slit. The tape is just to keep the glue from getting all over the place when I glue inside the slit that I cut. There we are. It's a beautiful thing. All right, and then I put one in the middle. All three are beautiful. And now I put three pieces of tape on this piece. Once again, staying away from bottom edge, but I need to be in the middle. Across the street, in the middle, in the middle. So the first piece goes here. In the middle meaning in the middle where the hinge goes, I should say. So right, this piece goes here, the last piece goes here. Now I have all my places, and now I mark them. We mark the center of each hinge, or the outside, one or the other. So on the sides, we're going to mark the outside of each hinge, and in the middle, we'll mark the center. So here's the outside, outside, and center. And now I take my slitting tool and I'm going to make my slits from the bottom on both sides. We'll get the center first from the bottom and the slit to and the three. And then into the wing. Just make sure that you've got your block pressed up against the bottom of the wing or the aileron. And then slide. Easy to cut through foam. Great stuff to work with. And I want to make sure that my outside sides here go further than the mark, which they do on the actual wing. So we'll go to. Yeah. 
Now I'm going to cut my hinges and get them ready so that I can stick them in there. I'm going to cut them and check them first in the slots, make sure everything fits. Then take them out and glue them in. So my hinges are about five eighths of an inch wide, and this is the side that I sanded. Now I have my HEPE, sandable sides, for some glue. And now I just need to determine how long the hinges have to be, how deep are they going in both sides. And it went now that far. That's pretty far. So that goes into the wing side that far, and it goes into the aileron side this far. So I'm going to need a hinge about that a big to be able to go into both sides about that far. So first into the aileron, I'll put a blob of glue, and then we work it into the slit using a piece of our plastic, and then the needle. Last but not least, the last one, which is not least. And then we get some glue and we put it onto our hinge, some on that side and some on that side. You only need a thin coat of contact cement. Now we're ready. This is our first hinge, so it's ready first. Let's make sure there's no globs of wet glue on it. And then into the slit. And then squeeze the slit closed. There we are. Now we have our three hinges on the aileron side. And let's get ready to glue them into the other side. So first thing we do is trim them all and cut the corners off. And we cut off our corners. Well, this one needs to be trimmed a bit, so we trim it down and then cut the corners off. Corners off. Now, let's test it and make sure that it goes in as far as we want it to. All right, one in there, one in here. Now we're ready to glue this side. Let's clean off the applicator with some tape. Or if you can't clean off the applicator with tape enough, just cut it off. There we are. And if you cut off the corners of the applicator, it'll work easier too. A blob of glue, a jug of wine, and thou. All right, there's glue in now. And now, some glue on the hinges. This one, this one, and this one. And then the other side of this one, this one, and this one. This is ready. So we take off our tip, and hopefully we can see our slits. I assume that this is more difficult for you to see than it is for me, but I can kind of see my own slits. Now we work our tabs into the slots. They need to be straight to go into the hood. If he wants to be ornery, use a tool. So, I need to work it into the hood. Alright, so we push into the slot. And there we are. So I have my three tabs in my three slots, and we let them set up and dry. Now, just to show you, look how flexible these hinges are now. And they are, more or less, unbreakable. There's one aileron with nice, flexible hinges.